In GibbsCam 12, you can customize the interface to speed up all the mouse clicks that you do during the day. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. In GibbsCam 12, I just right mouse button click across the toolbars. And right here I have customized toolbars and menus. I'm gonna click on that. So I suggest the very first thing you do is come down here and save customization profile. What this will do, this allows you to save the default in case you move everything around and you save it and you start to forget where things are or you accidentally um, delete a menu and you really wanted it, things like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make this default and just save that just in case, that's my backup. Okay, so now I wanna make my custom interface. I personally use GibbsCam a lot different than everyone watching this probably. I use it you know, for a lot for marketing. I do program using GibbsCam, but more often than not, I'm using it to create videos like this or marketing material. I don't use a lot of these icons. I wanna make my own toolbar. So if I wanted to, if I let's say I just wanted to add something that I use all the time to one of these toolbars. Let's say I use 3D Chain often. I can just drag it up in there and drop it. And that's where it's gonna be forever. Or at least until I delete it like that. But what I wanna do is I wanna create my own toolbar. So I'm gonna come over here to Toolbars. It's the third menu over. And you can see that I have Actions CAD CAM. That's each one of these. If I pull on this little eight little squares in the corner, I can drag it off. And you can see this is Actions. Again, I'm grabbing it by that handle. If I don't grab it by the handle, it's not going to want to dock, as we say, anywhere. It will just kind of go willy-nilly. So let's go ahead and put that back up there. I want to create a new toolbar. So we're just going to call this Chris's. As soon as I do that, you can see that I have this blank toolbar up here. And if I pull this down, you can see that it's called Chris's. Again, holding it by the handle and put it up here. So now I'm gonna go through and add a lot of the icons that I use every day to that toolbar. So I use preferences a lot. So I can just start typing preference inside of this search bar and there's preferences. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on that and then drag it up into that new toolbar. Let me clear that out. The next thing I use a lot is translate. So again, absolute translate. Throw that up there too. I also use rotate very often. And last but not least, what I use often is Pathfinder. If you're not familiar with Pathfinder, Pathfinder shows you where all of the relevant files are located um, on your machine for GibbsCam. If I double click on Pathfinder, or click on Pathfinder, you can see I have a list of all of the folders, VMM folders, MDD folders, intermediate tooling. So if when you load a machine and you think, oh my gosh, where do I put the VMM or where do I put my MDD? I can go ahead and just click open folders and those open right away. So this is, this is what I use a lot. So let's talk about what I don't use. I don't use MTM very often. Uh, I really don't use CAD very often and summaries. So once I get rid of those, and I'm not really get rid of them, I'm just hiding them. You know, I can click on them and they'll come back. I now have these four icons that I use every day, right here, right on top, right where I can see them. So that's customizing the toolbars. If you have any questions about uh, the toolbars or Gibbs Cam in general, please feel free to give us a call or contact your local reseller. Thank you.